Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to swap the internal and external memories of the Xperia Z. So this works with both the C6602 and C6603 variants. So uh, here we have an Xperia Z with 16 gigs internal storage. So uh, going into storage, you've got about 11.73 gigs usable. And I've got an external uh, micro SD card with which is a 32 gig micro SD card. So that's got about 30 gigs use, usable. Graphically intensive games vary between a few hundred uh, MB to a few GB at some, I mean, in some cases. So this 11.7 gigs can get filled up really quick. And the games that we download from the Play Store uh, will install only to the internal memory. So what we are going to do here is we are going to swap the internal and external memories so that any apps or games that you download will actually be installing onto the micro SD card instead of the phone's internal memory. So once you've done this, once we've done this, when you come back to storage, your internal storage will show as 29.23 GB, and your SD card will show as 11.73 GB. The prerequisite here is that your Xperia Z needs to be rooted, and in case if you aren't rooted, you can go ahead click the link in the uh, description that'll take you to my video tutorial on how to root your Xperia Z. Don't worry, I also have an Android tutorial in if in case you want to remove everything and go back to stock if you need to claim warranty or whatever. So guys, what you need to do is head on over to the download section in the description of this video and you will find a thread, uh, you will find a link to this thread on XDA forums. So just click on it, head on over to this thread, scroll down and under the second post you will find an attachment. Alright, just click and download this attachment, unzip it and transfer it to the internal or external memories uh, of your Xperia Z. So I've already done that. It will be a TXT file that you unzip it to. So just transfer it to the internal or external memories and once you've done that, head on over to the Play Store and download Root Browser Lite. This cannot be done with the uh, inbuilt uh, document file commander because it needs root access. So open up Root Browser Lite. And navigate to MNT uh, SD card that will be the root of your SD card that is your internal memory so here is where I've transferred it ext sd to internal sd underscore xz dot txt now copy it go back go back and go into data and paste it when you go into data, you might get a pop-up here saying a grant super user access. So just go ahead, hit accept and uh, transfer it. So once, you're, once you've done, once you're done with this, go back to the Play Store. Search for script manager. There you have it. Install it. So once script manager is downloaded, just open it up and uh, enable browser's root and hit allow. And now hit OK. So now hit, I mean, keep going up and then go into data. So now tap and hold uh, the txt file that we moved to slash data, hit open as and select sl script slash executable. So now make sure a script is selected. So now tap on su and then boot and then hit save. And once you've done that, just go ahead, turn off your phone. and now turn it back on alright guys we're back up here so going into settings and storage there you see the internal storage is now 29.23 uh, gigs and the SD card shows as 11.73 so uh, the memories have now been swapped 
uh, how do we remove this uh, mod? All right, go back into uh, S Manager. Okay, enough. Go back up to data and navigate to external SD, XSD SD to internal SD. Tap and hold it. Open as script executable. Over here, remove SU boot. Hit save. Now go ahead, reboot the phone. And that is turn it off and turn it back on. Alright, we're back up here. Going into settings and storage. And there you see things are back as they were. 11.73 is the internal and 29.23 is the micro SD. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Uh, if you run into any issues or if you have any questions, you can hit me up on cursforhour.com slash forums. So if there are any common issues, I will be adding it uh, to the description in the video. So if you run into any issue, first check the description of the video. If you cannot find a resolution, uh, hit us up at cursforhour.com slash forums. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it helped you. So if it did, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, if you have any video requests for me or you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, this is Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.